Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this a while back on Facebook messaging. And I honestly don't ever look at them. And he wants to replace his little Mini Cooper in, in, in place of the sleigh. So we need to really look at this car and find out what's going on here. And we'll fill it with. And it is transparent and complete. But it's a made up, I've looked at it for a second, it's made up of a bunch of lines. And it's not perfect. But I'm going to grab it and I'm going to go to range and I'm going to ungroup it. Then I get the boundary tool and I'm going to create a boundary. I'm going to move my boundary out of the way. First of all, I'm going to set my nudge and I'm working in millimeters here, so I don't really know how far what is what. There's our boundary. It's not a good boundary. But we're going to make it work. And then I'm going to take it and go to break curve apart and go to here and weld it. Then I'm going to go to effects and contour. And there again, I don't know about millimeters, but we'll try this. That's pretty good. Now, what we can do, and remember I've nudged this whole thing so uh, we can get it right back. I'm gonna go to a range and break curve or contour apart. Go up to a range, break curve apart, and I'm gonna get rid of these interior things we don't need. Now, it went way up into the car. A couple ways you could fix it. I'm just gonna take a two-point line and go from there to there and just cut this out. Whoop. Whenever you have something like that happen, you just didn't draw your line far enough into the other line. So just get your shape tool and just do that. And for the video, I'm gonna go there, take that virtual segment delete key and delete that. Now here's kind of the, the key here. We need to virtual segment just tabs off a little bit and I'm going to delete the car. Now I'm gonna use a smart fill tool to fill it in. I'm gonna cursor, move it over one time, left click. I'm gonna right click in red. Now we've got a solid object and then just cursor it back. There's the shape of the car that we're gonna to use to cut out. For a second, I'm gonna group it together so I won't mess it up. Now we need a way to cut the sleigh out. Just cut it out of the picture, take a two point line and go from that node to that node. And I've got, I'm gonna go up here to snap to, I'm gonna snap to object. That's gonna help us a lot. Whoop. Let's get rid of my line I drew. And because I've got snap to object on now, it's gonna to snap to those nodes. Now to cut these lines off, I'm actually gonna take snap two off because that is gonna cause us a problem. And I'm just gonna take a two point line and I'm just gonna draw a line between these objects. I like to draw a hairline and that's one of the reasons right there. Uh, let's click off of it. Just change this to a hairline. Don't know about millimeter. I'm gonna make it red just so we know. You're an, if you're an engraver, you need to change it to uh, RGB anyway. So let's draw a new line. Then we've got all these lines drawn. We can take the virtual segment delete key and delete our slate and all the parts of the slate. And we're gonna keep that line for just a second. Well, we can delete that line. It's not gonna hurt us. Now we can bring in our Cooper car. And I thought I'd grouped it all together. Control G. So we get the whole car. Because the outline itself didn't be enough to make it a, a good car. A couple ways you could do it. You could have it engraved on this. And let's do that. That would be actually be better. Let's break this apart. Ungroup it. Let's move the car. 
Well, tell you what. Let's back completely up. Let's uh, try to figure out the best way to do this. Let's nudge the, let's ungroup it. Let's take the car and let's go up to effects, group, and group the, all the car together. Now let's move our nudge back. I'm just gonna grab it this time and I'm gonna put it in here somewhere. Because we can engrave partially on this piece of wood. And if I was doing it for real, I'd clean up this line, um, get rid of some of these nodes, make it look a little bit better, get it off the... get it off the car, because you want a cut line. That's pretty good. Now let's take the car and nudge it out of the way. I don't want this to engrave or cut. I only want the inside engraving cut. So we're gonna cut that line in this line. I don't want that foot to cut. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So I'm gonna cut that line. Then it, the car becomes part of the reindeer, which actually is gonna help us. Now I'm gonna take the reins of the reindeer and I'm gonna to have to ungroup this. Whenever you can't click anything with the nodes because you're grouped together, then click a node. I'm gonna grab all these nodes at one time and I'm gonna bring them over toward the windshield. And if you were doing it for real, you'd wanna um, do a little better job than this. Let's move this down a little bit, move this up, make it look more like reins. But then we've got them past there. I can delete these center lines. See, now the range looks like they're coming out. Now we can grab our car and nudge it right back. So the car will engrave. The red line will become the uh, cut line along with the black line. I need to make sure my red lines are hair lines. Nope, two millimeters. Then now, now it should work. Now, on the safe side, no, that'll work. I was gonna fill all this in with the smart fill tool. Let's just do that. Let's take our car and nudge it that's the one reason I want to do this. Let's take our car out of the way. Let's take the smart fill tool and fill this in and see what I did. It, it worked perfectly. Nudge this out of the way, left click, right click in red hairline. And because we nudged, we can nudge this car right back to this point. There's the finished product. This will engrave to make it look like a car because the shape in itself isn't really good. You could still fix some of these nodes to make it look a little bit better. But that'll engrave and cut out, and that's a pretty cute idea. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what he's doing back here, if he's making a light or, or an ornament. But that's one way to replace an object with another object. And I would work with this car a little bit. Um, I see a gray line right there that I don't like, but I don't think it'll affect anything. Anyway, I hope it helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.